And everyone was like, are you just going to smoke and eat? And I was like, I don't think I'm ever going to stop smoking. Can you imagine going over to your dad's for dinner and his sex doll is sitting at the table? I don't want to eat a fart, even if it's a beautiful fart. Hey, I know your dad is probably constantly barging in on you, jerking off, telling you this is a porn of household. Are you, you going to jerk my X-Men son X-Men. off? Yeah, I just want to fucking face fuck our pantyhose. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like, what the fuck is enough? You know, like what what's going to be enough for these people? Are they just going to have to like face fuck me and come down my throat and just use me as a goddamn fuck toy before they're satisfied? Yeah. You know what I always say? Enough is enough. Enough to be enough. Sure. We're saying a lot. It's of... enough that you're enough. Oh, thank you. You don't know that I'm enough. You don't know what the fuck's going on with me anymore, baby. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on with you. You could be you could be a completely different person by now. I'd like to think I am. I like to think you're you think you're better, but you're ultimately worse. Oh, I know I'm not better. There's no yeah, I mean, there's no way you could approve. No, not at times like that. Which this. I mean there's no hope. I had two bad days this week where I really lost my mind. Oh, what happened, buddy? Um, I don't know. I'm just losing it. Gotta do something. All work and no play makes drama something something. Go crazy? Don't mind if I do. Welcome folks. It's just... episode one forty one, we suppose. That's that feels important. It feels like the, the number sequence feels right. Right. What's that thing where it's like numbers like 21, 12 going, you know what I mean? Going one way and then coming back, if that makes sense. A palindrome. Like, yeah. But there, isn't there some people think there's power in those numbers or something? Yeah. They're new, that's numerology. Maybe. We're not smart and we don't know nothing. So thanks for showing no. up. If you're listening for the first time, fucking go away. There's no way this is a good episode. There's go back and start earlier, way earlier. Go back to death and noodle soup and start there. Go back to when we weren't together in person. It doesn't normally sound like this, and the jokes land better. The jokes land so much better because we can read each other and kiss each other a little bit, and then there's like a the string footsie. of spit that sometimes hangs all, that hangs across the table, all the like f- a string and all the pussy, all the footsie. Oh, the footsie. footsie. I thought you were talking about. You know, the harem of women that we usually have around when we're recording. Yeah. Naked from the pants from the pants down. I know how from women the pants work. Down, baby. I know how pants ladies down. are. We're talking ankles out, bitch. Yeah. Just women with burlap sacks over them to their waist and then naked bottoms. Oh man, that sounds nice. Yeah. A couple dicks always sneak in though. It's like hooters, but we call it bottoms. Yeah. I call it I call it burlap. <laughs> burlap but you gotta say it like burlap yeah and the uh the logo is a gun because i i don't uh-huh. i don't know if i like maybe i have subconsciously heard this or it's never happened i feel like it should happen but i've always been surprised that a rapper isn't like some sort of reference to a gun and like a burlap sack like my gun go burlap wouldn't that be great okay cool just, i'm trying to think of no, it's fine if it sucks. I don't think you can of how tell you... me. I don't. I don't know if it sucks, but I think it depends on who says it and how they delivered it would make it important. Well, like, yeah, I, I like don't want. I... I don't want Run from Run DMC to say it necessarily. Like if Young, like if Young Thug said it, he could probably work some other puns around it to make it work really well. Mm-hmm. But if like Joyner Lucas said it, it would probably suck. Right. I think that's with anything. Like if Joyner Lucas right. said Balenci, 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 I oh, might not like it. the same beat, if it was the exact same song. Yeah, I would probably, ha- I, w- I honestly would not listen to it because I don't know if I've ever heard one of his songs. Hmm. Anyway, if <laughs> you like it. songs, go to www.thedapperdads.com. There's no music there, but... It looks like there could be. You can listen to things there. There could be. There used to be. But then people didn't like us when we did that. Yeah. We had a lot of songs. We made a lot of songs. We used to make a song about each episode. Mm-hmm. It was really beautiful. So, because it all depended on what mood we were in for the week. Like, one time we did, like, a ska song. Yep. It was 30 minutes long. Yep. And then one time we did, like, a, a Led Zeppelin-style song, and it was 30 seconds long. Yeah. It was just a really... 
beautiful way to express yourself. That one where we both played the harp. That was oh, that favorite. was beautiful. Yeah. A 17 minute harp solo. Yeah. And it's just a recap of all the things we talked about in the episode. Yeah, it was basically just us talking over heart music. Like a TL doctor, you know, for the episode. Yeah, like uh, Cliff Notes. Like uh, Spark Notes? Spark Notes. Yeah, Cliff Notes are different. What were the what were the little yellow books you used to be able to get at Borders? I think Spark Ding. Notes. <laughs> Spark Notes? I, I think it's both. Cliff Notes always makes me I, think of suicide notes written on a cliff before they jump. I always think of uh, Cliff Burton. Mm, yes. And I'm like, why was he writing these notes? You got to stay occupied. <laughs> That's what he did in his spare time. He contributed to society by inventing cliff notes. Yeah. Contribute to society by going over to www.patreon.com slash dapper dads. It's still happening over there, folks. We just made uh, one that was actually pretty good, I'd say. I would say it was, uh, it was decent. It was, uh, it was a light 7 out of 10. Wow, I was going to say a light 7 out of 5, but whatever. Wow, what an interesting scale that you would go to 7 out of 5 and maybe not like 5 out of 5 being perfection. No, there's no such thing as perfection. There's no 5 out of 5 albums for you out there? I don't know. I prefer to do a 10. Mm, so what's a 10 out of 10 album? Blonde. Oh, God. Yeah. Duh. But I don't even know if that's true. I don't know if there's genuinely a 10 out of 10 album for me. Not even Blonde? I mean, Blonde, it, like, I don't know. There's a few things on it that I'm like, eh, I still like it. But saying, like, it's a perfect album, I don't know. I'm more, yeah, I'm... Uh, more of a critic than you. Very picky. Yeah, I'm just saying, if you're going to say something's perfect, that's definitely the closest, and I would probably say it is 10 out of 10, but upon further research, are we including Facebook story? I was just about to say that, yeah. Yeah, it's things like that, which I would assume you wouldn't include those, but like, um, I'm trying to think, there's something on it that I've never liked, really. Like, there's one song, and I always forget what one it is. I feel like it's Siegfried, but then I listen to it, and I'm like, I like this, so I don't know. It's self-control. <laughs> yeah, I fucking hate self-control. It's so whiny and oh, stupid. No. And then the, no. Oh, no. What has this quarantine done to you? It's opened my eyes. I've been listening to a lot of Christian rock. Oh, God. And Christian Incubus. rock and things that sound... Oh, and then things that sound like Christian rock but aren't Christian rock. Yeah, the opposite. Really, like, upbeat, <laughs> antichrist music. Like Jeremy Renner's music? Sure. You just gotta experience Where it. do you find upbeat, antichrist music? It's out there. Hmm. You type, you just add happy to your tags. So you're like, satanic, devil worship, aggressive music, happy. I mean, it's got to be out there. And then you find a death metal cover of Happy by Pharrell. Oh, boy, that does it bad. Does it change your day? There are, I, I hate to interrupt the flow, but there are two dogs in the backyard of my apartments that I've never seen before, and I love them now. Are they having sex? No, there's two, they look, I don't know what they are. Oh, one's doing that thing where it's dragging its ass on the lawn. Oh, no, it. that's not good. Oh, it's like they're both, I think they're Pekingese, you know, like those little dogs with like the squish faces. I honestly know a shockingly small amount of dog breeds, so I'm not familiar. I will send you pictures of what I think these dogs are when we get off of this, but man, they are just sniffing and wiping their butts and they're just, wow, this is nice. I like I like that you are so easily distracted that two dogs came to play in your yard and you were like, I have to I have to pivot the conversation. I, I have to talk about this because wow, look at these dogs. I love the idea for the duration of this episode, more and more dogs just keep coming to your yard and eventually oh my there's God. just like three hundred dogs outside and you're like, I feel like there's like three hundred dogs outside in my yard. I'm and I'm like, like there's no fucking hear- way, idiot. They're just barking so yeah. loud. I'm like, you can't hear this. It just looks like a ground of like dirt, but it's moving and furry. Like they're so tightly yeah. packed. Like my family has this, like they're boarding up the windows and like the front yeah. door because there's just so many dogs. And you're just on, on a call to the podcast. 
<laughs> Make sure to board up that window extra tight. They could really get in oh. here. Oh, yeah, the storm window came loose last year, and I never got around to fixing that. Remember, stupid landlord. Board that one up extra good so the dogs don't get in. The fans need me. Don't forget to board up the basement windows. Water gets in there so easy. Water gets in there so easily when you're trying to record a sketch with your friend for your show, and it just <laughs> sounds like peeing. <laughs> In yeah, the background. I love, I love the idea of you taking the call to be on the podcast during any sort of um, bad scenario, like a zombie apocalypse, or I guess the current state of the world, who knows? Yeah, I'm getting distracted by two dogs. Yeah, that is one of the biggest issues you will getting ever Getting distracted by 302 dogs. <laughs> yeah, and Corella DeVille. <laughs> Chapter 96 of my somewhat autobiography distracted by 302 dogs during a call to the podcast <laughs> yeah it's really what tore the podcast apart that's what people will how a pack of wild dogs changed my life and brought me to christ <laughs> that's this is the point people will look at and reflect upon later like yeah i used to be a big fan but around that whatever episode it was where slim had the 302 dogs come visit him you could tell that it just wasn't ever going to be the same that's our jumping the you shark could, you, you, you... You could just tell that there was some type of force, something happening in both of their voices. It was, it was. We found out later it was a deep-seated hatred, but the seeds were being planted when those three hundred two dogs showed up. We found out really that only ten dogs showed up, and Slim just kept going. Oh, and look, there's definitely more dogs here now. Wow, this is getting crazy. <laughs> and you're just like, and then then this becomes a new Netflix documentary, and you're like smoking in your backyard and just like looking around and you're like i didn't i never seen no 302 fucking dog yeah they have all your neighbors and they're like they're honestly uh wasn't even two dogs that's the whole that's a whole episode is the realization that there was never any dogs at all that has to be the last episode though yeah and then they clip to you and you're like no there was for sure Listen, I didn't count each and every one of them i'd be glad to admit there might not have been exactly 302 but there was many, many, many dogs on my lawn. There and then your neighbors, your neighbors are all smoking. And they're like, there was never any dogs. In hotel rooms. Yeah, which is illegal. Mm. <laughs> we bring it back. <laughs> Call 4027-DAPPER. That's 402-732-7737. Tell us about your days. Your final days. Tell us about if you'd like to smoke in a hotel. Oh, I'd fucking love to. Cigarettes. We may have an interesting business opportunity coming up for you. Yeah, I don't get why we can't just smoke in some of the rooms. Give me a floor of smoking. Top floor. Give me a smoking baby. room. Yeah. Air it out, idiot. Just have huge exhaust I'll pay, fans. I'll pay top floor money if I can smoke in it. Yeah, because the smoke won't rise to anywhere else, dumbass. Te Man, technically, if you got a balcony on the top floor, you could smoke on it, I feel like. I think you can always smoke on a balcony. I do. I know one time I did it, and then someone like upstairs started yelling at me. And I was like, now nah, I'm going to smoke oh, well. ten times as much, because fuck yeah. you. This is America, I believe. But it I was seem not. To recall, I seem to recall my first cigarette ever was on a hotel balcony. Oh, that's romantic. It wasn't. Oh, damn. It was, it was with my girlfriend's dad at the time. <laughs> I mean, it could still be romantic. I mean, it's like a romanticized idea. Like, I, a first cigarette in a exotic scenario, I think. Location? Yeah, I feel like it that's... It isn't like a garage. Right. My first one was in a basement. Yeah. Yeah, mine was uh, in a on a hotel balcony because he was, like, so drunk. And he's like, you ever had a cigarette? And I was like, no. He's no, like, oh. sir. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Mine was in an unfinished basement, and I'm sure I've told this story on here because I always find it funny. I didn't know what I was doing, and so I was just like, you know, uh, holding smoke in my mouth or whatever you do when you don't know how to inhale. And then uh -huh. um, we walked up the stairs from the basement to go get in the car and go to McDonald's, and I tripped on the stairs while, like, having the cigarette in my mouth, and it made me, like, suck my breath in, and then I inhaled. And I was like, oh... And then I just smoked and smoked and smoked. <laughs> I was going to say, that was God, like, 
helping you out there. Yeah, he just gave me a little finger flick on the back, and I tripped up the stairs and inhaled. Like, I, we went and got McDonald's, and I was smoking while eating a double cheeseburger because I was like, Jesus this is Christ. great. And everyone was like, are you just going to smoke and eat? And I was like, I don't think I'm ever going to stop smoking. <laughs> <laughs> and I, was, I was 15. It was tight. I that is God. That's a beautiful. I, that's a beautiful visual. Just smoking and eating a double cheeseburger. Yeah, and being real angry, probably. Yeah, well, fifteen naturally. Yeah, well, we were we were in the basement listening to like death metal, <laughs> smoking cigarettes. You're saying my idea is romanticized. This sounds romantic to me. I know. I think I forgot all the details, but now I'm remembering. We listen. We listened to Devourment. Oh, my God. Yeah. That was pretty gnarly. God, those were the days. (laughs) This is why I still smoke. I'm chasing that very specific dragon. The most specific dragon one can have of listening to two devourment and eating a double cheeseburger while smoking. Yeah. (laughs) I I think I pretty quickly gave up the eating while smoking. Like that I'm really work. glad you did. I I would like to think there was a pivotal moment where you were smoking and eating something that didn't work well together, and that's what did it. Peaches. Peaches? Probably. Hmm. Peaches it's are traumatic for me. Why? <laughs> See, that's a beautiful pause. That was a pregnant pause, they call it. Um, a pregnant pause? Yeah. Why, why is it called a pregnant pause? I honestly don't know, but that's what it is in like acting, like plays and movies when there's like a very dramatic pause is a pregnant pause. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I'm well, then this bitch is nine months ready. <laughs> yeah, get that baby out of here. I'm sick of the waiting. One time get I get baby out of here. I'm sick of looking at this. One time I swallowed, uh, like you know, canned peaches, those big like slivers, whatever you want to consider yeah. it. I swallowed one of those whole. Uh-huh. I'm sure I've told this story. My dad was playing Sonic the Hedgehog, and he had to reach over and grab it out of my throat because I just swallowed one whole out of, uh, I'd say, sheer laziness. <laughs> I believe it. As a kid, I went through a phase of, like, I realized I could swallow most foods without chewing, and so I just changed to that. I also did that. I realized that because I had made a bowl of Jello one time. And uh, I was sitting there eating it, and I realized I didn't even have to chew it. I just let it, like, slide down my throat. Yeah, it's fun. And I was like, I'm going to start doing this with everything. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just kids, or stupid kids, maybe. But I did it. Yeah, bye. <laughs> but I remember doing it with, like, pretzels and shit. Well, oh, yeah, you were a monster. <laughs> yeah, because I, I think I was like, I bet I could do it with most things if I just tried. And so I did, hmm. and yeah, I think it was short-lived, but then I swallowed, yeah, one of those big, like, slices of canned peaches next to my dad, mm-hmm. and then I quietly suffocated until he realized, and then he just, he yeah, a few times in my life, we've definitely been over this, but he makes a hook with his finger and pulls something out of my throat that I swallowed, so. Hmm. Choice of you, uh, you seem to have a pattern here. Yeah, another time it was a piece of ham on New Year's Eve, and I was dancing. And it slid what? down my How throat. old were you? Uh, like 12 or something. Okay. Yeah. 26 or whatever. Ham and dancing. Okay. I'll still eat ham makes and dance. Less sense. I just don't get nothing ham wrong. very often. No, nothing, no, nothing wrong with a little ham boning. No. Um, follow us on Twitter at Dapper Dads. And uh, follow us on Instagram at Dapper Dads Podcast. And then I think Dapper Dads Podcast at gmail.com. Who the fuck knows, honestly? Uh, yeah. I think yeah, we don't have our we don't have our notes guy. Yeah, he's uh we're working on reanimating him, but weirdly, we we don't have the real we, we don't have the real slim and drama feeding us stuff into our earpieces this week. No. They everyone I mean, it's affecting everybody in a different way. Um mm-hmm. Yeah, submit to us, because uh, you've got time. We got uh we got two submissions, I think. One of them is packed to the fucking gills of would you rather's so we'll get okay. into that um uh but yeah other people like we've been saying you got time you're just sitting around thinking get out of your Listening head get this. into ours get out of, for get a little out of bit my... don't stay too long you won't like it there you're yeah, also not I... welcome for that long no yeah it's there's certain time frames that you're allowed 
Otherwise, it's Willie's You can look hours. at the exhibits, but don't touch. And for the love of God, stay out of the back room. Yeah. Get out of my bed. Get into my car. Get out of my dreams. What is that song? Get out of my dreams. Yeah. Get out of my dreams. Do, 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 do. Do, do, get and into my car. car. Do, 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 yeah, do, add do, that do, to the do, dad do. playlist. I said get out of my bed. Get into my car. Where are we going? <laughs> I was trying to sleep. <laughs> I was I worked so late last night and I didn't even get Shut the, the bed fuck until up. Three. Get out of my Where bed. Get into my car. That's a, it. Becomes a more menacing song at that point. Yeah, it sounds. I don't know. Sounds fucking crazy. Get uh, out of my bed and into my car. It's like the it's like the morning after a one night stand. Like wake up, bitch. Time to go <laughs> home. Get out of my bed. Get into this my Uber bed. that I called for you. Get out of my bed, and I don't give a fuck where you go. <laughs> yeah, the more realistic version. I want. Yeah, you know, the, with the the real cut that we release on the B side, acoustic I, version. I wish I had my window open because it seems like a nice, beautiful day outside. I'd I'd enjoy some fresh air, but I don't know you if you could see two dogs. I mean, I can't see out of my window. Well, I can see up, up and out. You understand how how my room works? I'm in a bunker. I. I know what you're talking about. But I can't see down and out. But I assume if I were to open my windows, my neighbors would not be able to tolerate just this one-sided screaming. <laughs> oh, God. Can you imagine? I can, because my family is scared of me when I emerge from this room now after screaming one-sided for I, two I hours. know I emerge from this room. I emerge from this room, and they're all just standing there holding different implements of destruction, just smacking them in their hands, looking pissed off. And I'm like, hey, guys. Hey, what did you hear? I told you hey not guys, to listen. What, hey guys, what a horrible thing did you over here while I gave you earplugs to wear that you are grateful, painful. I said only specific parts you can listen to, not the whole thing. God, it's like you're basically not paying for half the show. Yeah, you hate to see a bootlegger. Work. You hate to know your yeah. You hate to, you hate to know your family's a bunch of bootleggers for the product that puts bread in their stomach. Yes, very minuscule amounts of bread. Very tiny amounts of food. A slice of cheese so thin that you can see through it. I mean, it's good to not forget where you came from. You know, you got to start it from the bottom now we hear. Yeah, exclusively. I want to talk start about... from the bottom now we eat and budding. <laughs> yeah, baby. Um, I want to talk about... I meant to bring it up several episodes, I feel like now. But the TV show Extreme Love... Oh, hell yeah. Let's talk about this. Because everyone knows my affinity for um, I don't garbage TV. I don't know what you would consider it. Specifically, mm -hmm. uh, Train Wrecks of Love is what... God, that sounds like a great TV show in itself. Um, Train Wrecks of Love? Yeah, coming this fall to ABC. Who, who do we go to about this? Um, I, I, we TV is where most of these fucking oh. crazy shows are. Or TLC. Yeah, we, but TLC, we TV... TLC seems too classy. They've got the big dogs, which is 90 yeah, Day Fiance. We gotta go to... And before the 90 days, season four. And Love Before Lockup? No, Love Before Lockup's on Wii TV. But before is the, it really? Yeah. Before the 90 days, season four, Prime TV. Possibly my favorite mm. 90 Day Fiance thing ever. Please watch it. It's really? incredible. Um, before the 90 days, season four. Yes, it's the newest season. I think there's like a few more episodes to air, but boy, it, mm -hmm. you want to talk about train wrecks and people that you're just like, are you fucking serious? You think that this is going to work? It's it's Is it is that the one that has the fat guy who told her to shave her legs? You'll have to be much more specific. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's the one with the guy that doesn't oh, have a... a neck. Yeah. That's the main draw, but you fall in love with the other characters. I'm a fan of a man named okay. Dave who has been dating, huge air quotes, um, a woman from Russia for seven years and tried to meet her in person three times and she's never showed up. And he also pays to chat oh. with her. And he's 60 oh. and she's 20 something. It's it's great. Oh, no. You if you watched it, you wouldn't feel bad because you'd be like, you are the worst, dumbest person that's ever existed. I mean, is he a scumbag or is he sad? He's, you feel bad for him at first, but then you realize, like, how, like, I don't know how you could be more obvious that this is not real or going to work. Like, you're just ignoring. You really see, 
that's what I, I think I told you. What I've always loved about 90 Day Fiance and any shit like that is like how many red flags are you willing to avoid to think that you're right is what the show is. Because there are things yeah. where you're just like, there is no fucking way. Like going to meet someone internationally three times and they don't show up. So you schedule a fourth time to go meet them. Like how much you think fucking... that's the charm? Well, just like how dense can you be? Like, do you, what what is it? It it it. I don't know. It baffles me because I'm like, I can't imagine being that delusional about anything. Yeah, it's in, it's incredible. So yeah, if you, if that's your cup of tea. But anyway, so I found extreme love, um, which yes, is, which amazing. Yeah, it's a TV show where it's like extreme kinks. I guess is the easiest way to put it. And different that they really try to paint aren't kinks, right? And sometimes, it, and it because you said you're watching, you've watched it on Facebook. Yeah, because so what had happened was last summer when I wasn't really doing anything, mm -hmm. uh, there was like one night I remember I had uh, I was tripping and I was like just scrolling through Facebook videos and I found just a random episode of that, like it was just something random that came up, you know? Yeah, and I was like, what the fuck? is this and so i started watching it and i think i watched it for like six hours straight <laughs> yeah because like i just kept finding like clips and episodes and i was like this shit just keeps getting crazier because at first you see where it's like a really skinny guy and a really fat girl but then it's like there was one where it was like this old lady who's like hooks up with all these younger dudes and has like three boyfriends and i was like okay and then there was one where it was like a guy who owns a reptile hut who was in the beginning of Tiger King. <laughs> and his wife is like 30 years younger than him. Right. So I think there's so it's just like all kinds of crazy shit like that. Yeah. I think there's a difference between I think it's the same like company, but I watched it on like they have a TV show on I think Wii TV and there's two seasons mm -hmm. of it. But I looked at the Facebook page. I'm looking at it right now just to see what ones you were watching. And yeah, it seems like the Facebook page has a lot of like more common ones where, you know, because mm -hmm. some of them you're just like, this is fine. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like it's just, yeah, whatever. Like there's a lot of like interracial ones and you're like, yeah, what's even the deal with this? Like that's normal. And then there's like some mm -hmm. other ones where you're like, that's kind of weird. And then there's ones where you're like, okay, this is what we're talking about. And the TV show, it starts off with like, a guy who dates like super old women and it was fucking mm -hmm. pretty wild and he's like dating several different old women and then i think the one died she's like 93 and he's like 30 like it's oh wow it's intense and they're making out and it was one of the ones that i was like Ugh, i'm not a fan of watching this um mm -hmm. i'm trying to think of what else there was because there was some that were like fucking there's a lot of the sex style guys which is weird and like the one mm -hmm. would the one had like a wife and he had three sex dolls and then he bought her a sex doll for her birthday and then he had they had like her kids come over for dinner and the sex doll sits at the table with them and then, I saw that one. Yeah, yeah, that one that one was fucking insane. Can the, you can you imagine going over to your dad's for dinner and his sex doll is sitting at the table? No, I would leave and never come back. <laughs> I would immediately I would simply leave. Like, I don't care if it's, like, if it makes you happy and you're old and you don't have anything. Like, that's mm -hmm. fine. And you can do it in your own but privacy. Like, and even, like, face. I can know that it exists, but you, yeah, you put it in a closet or whatever. If you start bringing it to dinner. He makes the one son come with him to buy clothes for it for the wife's new yeah. husband. And, like, the fucking son's, like, young, kind of. I don't know. I'm like, there's no fucking... Yeah, he, he's, like, in a, still in high school or something. Yeah, and then the guy, the, the man has to go to, like, the chiropractor or something because his back's all fucked up. And he thinks it's from lugging around these sex dolls all the time. So he brings the sex doll with. And, like, one of my biggest... <sighs> problems with like a lot of like things in the world is when like people um try to like rope someone doing their job into their bullshit whether it's like a bad yeah. joke or like their whole fucking life story or the fact that they have a sex style that they fuck and whatever with their wife like workers are there to do a, a service for you let them be you know what i mean we've both worked some shit where people will like 
involve you in their weird life and you're like please get the fuck away from me like for the love of god get like just don't even like look at me don't even touch me yeah and like so that's one of my biggest things i think from working like retail and shit is when you see someone like even like forcing like the worker into like your funny joke with you and your family or friend like drives me crazy because right. i'm like just let them be because they have to force laugh your shit and you think you're the only person that does this just fucking go away so yeah bringing a sex doll to a chiropractor and be like i think it's because i'm having sex with this could that be hurting my back and that person has to be professional and be like, it could be. Yeah, definitely. It depends how strenuous. It's possible. You fucking old pervert. But then uh, <sighs> one of my favorites was like the feeders. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. Those are nuts. Did you? There was one. Uh, I can't remember what it was, but he had to like push the girl around in a wheelchair because she was so big. And he's like trying to get her into a restaurant just so they can have lunch. Yeah. I, I don't think I saw that one on the show, but I'm pretty sure I've seen that thing on uh huh. I say thing as in that video, not like that woman was a thing because she was so large. Um, yeah, we got to clarify. Yeah, I want it to be very clear. But yeah, there was two different like feeder ones. And the the one is like this fucking dork and this giant old lady. And uh, he, she wants to become the biggest person ever. Yeah. Yeah, I think I've also seen this one. <laughs> and then it turns out she's pregnant. And so mm -hmm. then, but they, and they've like had a miscarriage before and she's kind of like, yeah, yeah, I don't know what happened. And it's like, really? You don't know what could have happened to cause this unpleasant you have no experience? idea. And so then she like Couldn't... tries to get healthy and like the baby comes out and is healthy. So that one actually was kind of uplifting at the end. Can you imagine just having, I mean, like no offense on anybody, but like, how do you have sex with somebody that big realistically? Yeah, I don't know. Like, that person was, like, unbelievably large and wanted to be, I mean, to be the largest person ever. I don't even know. In like, the world. Yeah, what that entails. And, like, her mom comes over and she, like, tells her, like, Mom, I wanted to let you know my new goal is to be the largest person that's ever existed. And her mom's like, if that's what you want. While she's crying. <laughs> it's, like, super yeah. sad. There were, and yeah, then, no, there's no, if, if my daughter came to me and was like, I want to be the biggest, fattest person in the world, there's no way I'm just going to cry through it and be like, well, if you're happy. If anyone I even vaguely know mentioned that to me, I'd be like, you're a fucking moron. You're going to die. <laughs> yeah, you're a different kind of person. You're very direct. Well, sometimes people, listen, if you've gotten to the point where you think it's a good idea to become the world's largest human... People should have uh -huh. been more direct with you. That's the problem is no one was direct enough with you prior to this. So here I am that to let true. you know you're yeah. a fucking moron and you're gonna die. Here I am. I'm I'm that I'm the sign you've been looking for to not do this. Then there was another couple. Um, and this was one of the most interesting ones. I wanted to back in the day when we thought we would be in person and the monitor wouldn't be buried very deep under meat and dirt. Um, rest in rest in power king yes rest in paradise um i wanted to show you the video this lady well like it's two women that are okay larger and it's another feeder situation then you come to learn that they're both trans and were men and okay they want to make the one real fat get married and then add a boyfriend to the equation I think was the whole thing oh. kind of hard to follow, but at some point it comes out that the one that they're trying to make big is like just burps on stuff on the, like for like YouTube videos and people like watch it and subscribe to her and she just burps on things. What? Yeah, it's fascinating. I'm gonna see this. I, I gotta see. Yeah, that's what I mean. I was like, this might be the first video we play during the podcast. I felt like it would be very important. Like, you know, you can't you can't play your first video on the monitor without it being something top notch. And this, yeah, without it being like primo stuff. Yeah, and this burp fetish shit. Yeah, if you go to um just YouTube and type in burp fetish. Uh, there's like I'm a, good. A, I mean, just for any listeners or whatever. Yeah, it's the it's the person that was on the show. Uh, the the her username is Burping Girl, but she this is like someone's recap video. But she like burps in the camera, and then there's like videos of her um 
like she eats different things and then she burps because of them and like kind of reviews the burps and then like there was one video what? that i saw where she just goes to like a store and she burps on different products in the store <laughs> I, this is a lot to process all at once, especially over the phone without seeing it. I know. I mean, you can you can envision it like it's just a a it's larger terrific. a larger woman really just letting them out. You know what I mean? The burping on products is uh, like imagine if you were at the store. She also has a Patreon, so we should. I'm gonna look into that real quick uh, for research. Um, for research. Yeah, imagine if you were, like, at the grocery store, and you're like, oh, I need to get some cereal, and then you turn down the cereal aisle, and there's just a woman burping on all the different cereals. A big woman burping on all the cereals. Yeah, like, what <laughs> What do you even, I don't know, I feel like you gotta leave the store. Does it make it different if it's, a, if it's an attractive young woman burping on the cereals? Of course it does, but I'm not happy either way. Like, mm. I don't want to buy a, a thing that well, someone burped Okay, what on. would you rather, would you rather... Fun? Would you rather? Would you rather okay. have a big fat woman burping on the cereals, or a young beautiful woman farting on the cereals? Oh, do I have to buy the cereal? Yep, and it's the cereal that you specifically are going to buy. It's your cereal that, you, like, because you, I know how you are with cereals, and we're kind of the same way. We're like, we'll get into a different cereal mood every now and again for like a different cereal. So, like, let's just say you're in the mood for like Captain Crunch. Okay. And like you're like I'm gonna I'm gonna go get some I'm gonna go get a box of Captain Crunch. You're picturing it. You got it on your list. You're like let's do this. You turn. You look. You see this big fat woman in front of the Captain Crunch. She's just burping all over it like Slimer. And I have to eat the Captain Crunch. Yeah, like it's the last box. Like it's the current state of the world right now, and so oh. there's only one box left. And she's like right up against it. Yeah, she's like burping. She's like right. I, like you can. You can basically envision if her burp was like a gaseous green cloud, it enveloping the box when she does it. Hmm. Same with the fart, though. Yeah, yeah. You see the fart when with the fart, you turn and you see the box at her ass level, and you see her ass, and you're like, "Oh, not bad." But then you definitely hear her rip one that like can't be mistaken, like her gray sweatpants like flutter a little bit from the fart. <laughs> God damn. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, and so you can also envision the gaseous green cloud of that beautiful 9 out of 10 woman's fart enveloping the the last lonely box of Captain Crunch. So I hate to say what would it. You rather? I hate to say it, but I feel like the burp. I don't want to really? eat a fart even if it's a beautiful <laughs> fart. Even if it's a beautiful fart? Yeah, like that. I feel like I won't be able to a burp in my mind dissipates in the air i know that a fart does too but like yeah. i feel like fart remains burp will i don't know you know what i mean i don't want to mm, eat a fart mm -hmm. i don't know how else to explain it even uh, the prettiest little want to eat a burp i don't want to but i yeah. feel like a burp doesn't <laughs> stick around i know that the fart won't either but the memory of the fart remains what's the metallica song the memory of the fart remains <laughs> yeah what would you rather do? Uh, I'm going with the pretty girl fart. Yeah, I mean, I understand it, but... The cereal's in a plastic bag, idiot. It's sealed either way. I know, but that's what I... I'm not saying I'm right. I'm just saying how my brain works, and I won't be able to... Free, I won't be able to enjoy the cereal knowing that it, it was farted on through two layers. The burp is not mm. a problem. You know what I mean? Would you yeah. rather have someone burp in uh, your face or fart in your face? The fart's filtered. I mean, that's that's true. But I still twice, I, twice filtered. Yeah, that only makes it more powerful. Assuming like she's wearing underwear that isn't a thong, because she's really beautiful and wearing gray sweatpants, so she probably is. I hope. <laughs> yeah, you're getting too caught up on the on the the person. Because I'm picturing it. You shouldn't be. What you should be picturing. I'm in quarantine, is, baby. What do you want from me? What you should. What are you wearing right now? Uh, me? Yeah. Just a gray tank top and some bo uh, boxer briefs. Okay, I thought you were going to say just a gray tank top, and I was going to disconnect oh the God. call. Oh, my God. 
because I think <laughs> just it's either it's, Donald Duck in it and just a great wife beater. Can you imagine? It's either wife beater or like turtleneck sweater are the worst two just tops that you could possibly do. Like a t-shirt <laughs> oh. is offensive and a hoodie is bad, but like wife beater or yeah, a thick sweater and nothing else oh. is unbelievable. <laughs> It's just like the most offensive garb you could possibly wear. Right. It should be illegal. And I would love to run for whatever sort of platform makes it illegal. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's exclusively what I would run on. But what are you it, wearing right now? Uh, ba- My basketball shorts and a t-shirt like I always wear. No. Mm. Just your run of the mill drama outfit. If I was a doll, you could buy in the store. If I was a, if I was a dollar, you could buy me in a store. No, if I was a doll, like my doll would come with, or if I was a cartoon, you know, I have like the one outfit. If I'm in my house, I'm almost always wearing basketball shorts and just whatever t-shirt I would be wearing if I was outdoors. Sometimes more my mm-hmm. my more risque t-shirts because I'm not going anywhere. Right. Might as well boss them out while you're at home. Yeah, I don't get enough wear of them. Anyways, go to www.patreon.com slash burping. You want to hear okay. her her tears? You want to you want to understand how a proper Patreon is compiled? I you know I reckon I do. All right, she has a lot of tears. So starting off, number one tier, burp lover. This is one dollar a month. This tier doesn't give you access to videos or any exclusives, but you can see my lens clips like Snapchat. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> Level number two, thanks, Burt, babe. It's $2 a month. You get access to exclusive exclusive Patreon photos only. In parentheses, bloated belly, etc. Level number three. Bloat? Okay. Yeah, she does a lot of bloated belly videos. Um, there's a market for that? <laughs> there's a Patreon. We'll get in. I want... I, I don't know if it shows how many like subscribers she has, but we'll look into it once we get through all of these tiers. Uh, next tier is Burp Level 1. This is $5 a month, so the same price as our uh, most popular tier. Our top tier. Our top tier. Yeah, we got to expand. We're going to take some notes once we continue this. Uh, her $5 a month is access to private Instagram account. Access to non-Instagram photos, belly blow, etc. Access to extra short video clips, 30 seconds to 2 minutes. Um, Get this tier for longer than 2 months and have access to my private Instagram for life. And then in parentheses, well, until I stop my burping career, lol. Hmm. Next tier is burp. Implying that there is an end in sight someday. Yeah, I mean, maybe what if one day you wake up and you just don't burp anymore? You know, like you just physically can't. Yeah, and and that's your your whole job. Um, oh. next one is burp level two. This is ten dollars a month. You get access to private Patreon page, access to private Instagram, access to non Instagram photos. Um, this is just everything from the last year, and then you also get access to one non YouTube friendly video one time a week. This. Is Ooh. at least ten minutes long. Bra, belly, bikini, nudity, etc. Access to polls, idea suggestions, etc. And then for the next tier, that's burp level number three. You get all you get access to all previous tier benefits, um, and then you also get one burping video of your choice, three minutes max each month. So you get your own like personal. Like you get to choose what makes her burp? I'm not sure on the details. It just says you get one exclusive burp video. Okay. I just want to know what choice. makes it so exclusive. Yeah. It says of your choice. So I guess maybe you, yeah, you pick maybe what she burps on or. Okay. Um, burps with. Yeah. I'm not sure. Uh, but then the final, is this the final tier? Nope. It's not. <laughs> Burp level it four. It just keeps going, folks. Burp level four is 50 big ones per month. You get access to all the previous tier benefits. And then your name, in parentheses, can be a nickname. Shout it out in all public YouTube videos. 
Oh, no. Then you get exclusive burping clips on Instagram and fast reply DM privileges. Ooh. And then the final tier is Burp King. And you get all the previous tier benefits, plus one of my weekly Patreon video a month gets to be your idea within reason of Patreon terms of service. So that implies that at some point she went against the terms of service with burping? Yeah, it implies that she did something really outlandishly inappropriate with burping. (laughs) Look, because of me, they have a sign now. And then you also... Okay, but time out. Hold on, the but final, you can finally, get on Patreon. Oh, I know. But hold on. Finally, the other thing you get is early access to all Patreon videos before I post them live on Saturdays at 9 p.m. So, but yeah, the things that hmm. you can get on Patreon are pretty out there. So, I don't know. What do you have to do to be within a certain guideline? I, I don't know. I would love to find out. I would love to. I'd pay $5 just to see the video that changed everything <laughs> okay how much is the burp king tier uh let me go back i think it was yeah 75 dollars a month wow can you imagine paying 75 dollars a month for this yeah she has 48 patrons i like it doesn't break down what tier there's two burp king spots remaining but there might only okay. be two it doesn't really say um but there is some other information here's her about uh, hi, I'm the Burping Queen, Miss B. I make burping videos for you to enjoy. I am the burping goddess. I will out burp any man any day. I have a natural ability to burp very loud, louder than almost every male and female. Your kink is my specialty. If you enjoy burps of any kind, you've stumbled upon the right place. Enjoy yourself. I know I will. Implying she enjoys burping really loud? Seems like it. She has 243 Hmm. exclusive posts. And let's see. I saw something here. She had a a little post explaining like one of the things. Come come and watch me chug a two-liter burp on my bed in something a little revealing while we are all stuck at home. That's the kind of content you need at a time like this. That's the type of content you really need to inspire you and get you through these uncertain times. You know how happy I would be to make money from chugging a two liter in my bed wearing something a little revealing? Just doing just some burping. stupid fucking shit. Just fucking burping. Could you imagine like meeting someone for the first time and they're like, what do you do for work? And you're like, oh, I just burp on the internet. And they're, I just burp on the internet and get thousands of dollars a month for it. I know. I would really love to see... Like how the much, numbers. Yeah, how much she's bringing in. Because if she has 49 patrons, even if it's, let's say it's the the $5 tier at least, and I'm sure it fluctuates between all those different tiers. But I mean, fast math, 49 times $5, just off the top of my head, that's 245 bucks. Yeah, that's not. I mean, it's not great, but it's not bad. If it's you're not like great, but that's something nice on top. Two two hundred and fifty dollars just to burp. Like I would <laughs> love that. I would. Take yeah, that's less. A, that's a, that's actually that's actually a lick. That's a lick. Yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah, and like I said, she probably makes some more. I don't think she's like maybe not quitting her day job, but she's definitely making money to burp. So I respect the hustle. I will be yeah, signing up not? under the Burp King tier because I'm bored. <laughs> You should actually create your own Patreon account and call yourself the Burp King and be the male burper. Oh, I would love to. I've got some big burps. I do. I would love to know, like, just get a snippet of one of her biggest burps. Because, I mean, I, like the biggest one. I don't think I'm, uh, you know, I don't think I'm doing too bad. But I'd love to see what the competition is. Here's a poll she offered. I mean, she claims she can burp louder than any man or woman. That is a bold claim. Like, you have to... <laughs> yeah, that is bold. You have to be able to back that up. Any man or woman. Like, I've heard some loud burps. I've produced some loud burps. I've... You know what I mean? I've been... It's not my first rodeo. So, mm-hmm. if she thinks she can outburp anybody, it's fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. Except children. Is she implying that she can't outburp children? Yeah, I mean, like, there's some burpy-ass kids out there. I mean, yeah. She also has a poll that says, farting, please vote to show if I should do a separate tier for farting content. 
Hmm. Then yeah, the, make it more expensive. Then the comments. Hold on, I'm trying to see what the poll results are. The comments fart in my mouth. The comments are, if your farts are like your burps, poor people who stay close to you, crying emoji. Someone else says, but imagine hearing it. Shang says, I hope to see you fart. Aaron says, yes. Aaron also says, I'd love a tear with access to both. I'd pay for both, to be honest, says Conrad. Someone whose name is just RRRR says, have you been farting any? A while after the poll closed. <laughs> so he was have just, you been farting? He was just checking up. Just wanted to make sure that the possibility of a fart tear still exists. Yeah, I can't see the uh, the results to the poll without logging in, which I refuse to do, but... I got to guess I it was favorable. I think you're going to have to sign up using our Patreon money. Yeah, we should just And then we could we could do the tier that gets us the public shout out on her YouTube video. This is marketing. Mhm. This is how we get subscribers. Huh. Interesting. So technically we're funneling money back into the company. Right, of course. And into some burps in the meantime. What would you and like And we yeah, we get to jerk off to some burps. What? Okay. Um what would you like to see her burp <laughs> up? Say what? What would you like to, if you could request for her to burp, what would you request to really get her going or just to see her burp? Mentos and Coke, honestly. I was going to say that. (laughs) Hey, great minds think alike. Yeah, now we know exactly what to do. She just barfs everywhere. Where's the barf content? Yeah. Yeah, where's the puke content? You're leaving money on the table, Miss B. You could be barfing. You could be barfing and shit, and you're cutting. And if if you included farts, barf, and shit, you could make seventy five percent more profit. <laughs> this sounds like a dapper dad's pitch if I've ever heard one. Oh yeah, if I've ever heard us in a marketing room. It's just us with a pie chart. One sliver is burps, and then there's farts, shits, and puking is the other yeah. three fourths of the pie chart. And we're like, look at all the opportunities you're leaving on the table. Yeah, and then a sliver of pie chart gets stuck in your throat, and I have to pull it out with my hand. Yeah, well, we thought it would be fun to make it more interactive, and we weren't wrong. No, we weren't wrong. It did technically work. But this is what caused the problems with our Natterday sponsorship. (laughs) We're Mm, like, you guys should have more more, uh, fart shits and pukes. We do those when we drink your product. But a lot of burps, too. We do a lot of cold. those. Would you like to film us doing it? I've been drinking some ungodly cold matter days, and the burps are tremendous. Are they? Yeah. So I guess I'm going to start up my YouTube channel. We should just do a compilation. Think... We should each record our burps for, for the next week. If you feel a big one coming okay. on, record them, and then we'll put out a little super cut. And maybe we'll start a little beef with Miss B. See, who, who, see who's really Ooh. king burp, bitch. This is our first beef. Oh, I love it. Honestly, it makes a lot of sense brand wise. Honestly, it does make sense. Yeah, you gotta start somewhere. Yeah, so we'll record our burps if we remember to ever do it. Might as well make an enemy in the burp fetish community. I mean, yeah, I'd love to imagine we get fucking Tupac'd over some burp beef. Oh my god. (laughs) They just shoot me in my car. They shoot you, I find out about it, I get paranoid, I never leave the house again. Yeah, you completely change your life. You're you're Suge Knight, I guess, in this scenario? No, that means you're in the car with me. Do I have to go to jail eventually then? Yes, of course, but you have a good run of being just a real piece of shit. Oh, as long as I have that, I don't give a fuck what happens. Of course. All right, let's get into some submissions. Uh, Yeah, I heard we got some big beefy Would You Rathers coming. Yeah, we got this first one comes from Jebediah, and that's Jebediah at CIA.gov. Um, okay. It says, I got what I hope to be a fun one to cover. And it says, let's pretend that you guys are parents. You got a teenager living in your house that you helped to consensually create 14 years earlier, and they just so learned. kid. Huh? So it's your kid. Yeah, you have a teenager. And they, okay. and they just learned what masturbation is. You catch them in the act one night, and your wife is making you talk to the kid about it in some way. What do you do now? How do you talk to them about it? 
Do you just never acknowledge it and lie to your wife about talking? Do you leave porn and a box of Kleenex in their room under their pillow with a tube of lube and a little note from the jerk-off fairy as my dad did? What's your game plan, man? Love the show. Bye. So we got a a 14-year-old that's learning to jerk it. How do you address it? Uh, I mean, I just, I'd tell them just, just to clean up after themselves and do it when they're by themselves in their room alone. I would, um, I know my kid's going to be a hand, hands-on learner, so I'm going to help him. You're going to be a handful. Yeah. I'm going to jerk my son off just so he knows how to do it. Oh. That's what they don't tell you about fatherhood. Is eventually... Yeah, that's one of the rare things they doubt. Did, 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 you, did your dad jerk you off? No, not my dad's friend. Oh, oh? Yeah, because that's what I was just going to say, is they don't tell you at some point you'll have to jerk a young boy off. It doesn't mm. have to be yeah, your that's son. A... But it could be your son's uh, friend. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah it's, 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 it's something every man has to go through. I love the idea of a jerk-off fairy and a dad just leaving Kleenex and porn and lube. With no instruction. Yeah, well, there was a note. Just hoping you'll figure it out. It's like tossing a carburetor at your kid with a screwdriver and being like, he'll figure it out. Yeah, if he's if he's meant to do it, he will. You know what I mean? I mean... Imagine having Luke I don't know. for the first time you jerk off. You can never yeah, go oh back. Yeah, oh my God. That's too much. Boiled ever since you were a child. You'll never dry rub again. Yeah, born with a silver lube on your dick. Technically, you'll never, technically you'll never dry rub. Yeah, you'll never... You'll be like, I can't jerk off without my cream. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta have your tray of creams. You gotta have your jerk off cream that you buy at Macy's. What about yeah, giving your kid porn? What if they're not into the same shit? Yeah, what if what if like yeah, you could really fuck up your son's whole perception of what sexuality is by giving him a weird magazine. Yeah, maybe he doesn't love anal cream pies with spectrums. <laughs> Respect spectrum. Maybe he spectrums? maybe he doesn't love crack horror hotels volume sixty seven. Yeah, I mean, you really could, but you could shape him in your image, you know? Yeah, you could, but do you really need another you running around? You hate yourself. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. I'd like to protect him from from the real, the real crazy From the shit. evils of the world? Yeah, because imagine being 14 now, and instead of jerking off to VHS tapes and magazines like we always talk about, you've got, like, hardcore anal at your fingertips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got XNXX and RedTube and Pornhub. And well, listen, this, this is a Pornhub household. I will tell him that much. I might just be oh. like a classic dad that cracks the door open and is like, hey, I know what, I know what's going on and it's normal. But yeah, just keep it to yourself and uh, clean up. Don't, don't let your mom find out too much about it. And uh, we're a Pornhub household, so get acquainted. I'm a Pornhub household. And then I, I come over, I'm real drunk one night. I'm like, hey, I know your dad is probably constantly barging in on you jerking off telling you this is a porn of household are you, you gonna can watch jerk XNXX my son off? If you want. <laughs> are you gonna jerk my son off i don't know i gotta see your son first <laughs> yeah i gotta see your son if it's anything like the son we've described on this show i am not jerking him off if yours is any anything like you at a young oh. teen then i won't come near it in general oh Oh, that's hurtful. That's hurtful. What if my wife is very kind and loving and we have a beautiful son? <laughs> it seems far fetched, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, you ain't kidding. I picture a real mean old lady. Like you don't even have a wife, you have an old lady. She smokes cigarettes and I just, yeah, I just have you. an old lady that sits in the recliner all day. Yeah. She's always like, You gotta Damn, fucking... why haven't you done this yet? Yeah, do something. You're like, I know, honey, I'm working on it. And you're you're not even like what you think you would be, which I picture you being like, fucking evil bitch. I hate her. You're just like, oh, yeah, she just had a rough day at work. And I'm like, she hasn't had a job in six years. And you're like, yeah, one rough day. Am I right? Anyway, uh, will well, you... you you pay for all her bills. <laughs> yeah. You're like, well, we can uh, record the podcast while I do the dishes. And I'm like, slam. Yeah, while well, I do the dishes and uh, vacuum, vacuuming won't get in the way, right? I have to. Yeah. You're like, please, God, I have to vacuum. If I don't vacuum, I have. you don't want to know what no. she'll do. You don't? I don't. I just can't deal with it again. <laughs> yeah, I can't take another hit to the back of the head. I can't take another hit to the back of my ball sack with a stapler. Jesus Christ, that seems difficult to even swing. 
That means she makes you yeah. stand in a certain position for that to be possible. So you're complicit. I mean, that, that's that's me bent over scrubbing the floorboards. Oh, hell yeah. I'll come take a look at that. My life's for real. Just bent over scrubbing the floorboards story, if you know with I your mean. ball sack out. Oh my god. You turn around, her and all Swinging her friends are laughing her. at you and throwing change at you, and I'm also there. How sweet that my evil wife has friends. Oh yeah, she has a bunch of friends, and they all say she's too good for you. Oh wow. Like, yeah, they hate my ass. I think I'm like the worst piece of shit ever, even though I like give her all my money and work so hard for her. Yeah, and you're like, I'm just trying to impress them. I think one day I'll be able to win them over. Maybe, maybe someday. I think if I invite them over for dinner one more time and give them an eight-course meal, they might like me this time. You got to try. Seven courses wasn't enough. It's got to be eight. Yeah, seven courses. What What do you want to do, spit in my fucking face? Yeah, Jesus Christ. What do you want to do, sit here and install my entire goddamn bloodline? But yeah, I guess if uh, if my kid was jerking off, I'd I'd try to be supportive, not too supportive, and uh, let him know it's right. okay. No one ever talked to me. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like, yeah, I, I would basically just tell him, like, look, it's normal, it's fine to do, it's healthy, just do it by yourself and keep it to yourself, you know. I would say do it in something that you throw away. Don't leave these crusty socks and shirts and yeah, don't towels and pants and, shirts and jackets and, and parkas and windbreakers and, and a beanie. And <laughs> Just come on and everything. Pillowcases and comforters. Yeah. Yeah. You got to start doing your laundry when you start masturbating. I would honestly a tell my kids. feels like that. Legos when I step on it because it's so crusted with cum. No, that's a hardwood floor. We don't even have carpet. It's just oh, cum everywhere. Lord. Oh, God, I slept and fall. Yeah, now your dad broke his elbow because of your car. His dad broke his elbow and his back. We are recently... And his friend broke his hip trying to get in here to save him. We are recently obsessed with uh, dads becoming injured by their son's cum. Have you noticed this trend? <laughs> I have not. It's good to have new things this far in, you know what I mean? It's hard to keep the relationship mm-hmm. fresh. We have to start talking about funny scenarios where a son's cum injures his father. <laughs> Just hurts the shit out of us. All right. Then we got a uh, another one here. It comes from Lemmy. And that's Lem, Lem375 at WIFR.net. It's a deep cut. No, he can't. He can't associate himself with a respectable news station. He's the weatherman. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh, God. I just picture him frantically smoking. He's the guy my mom is yelling at on TV every morning. Yeah, he never gets it right. No, ever. But that's normal. Don't feel bad. It's going to be bright and sunny today. It's like a As it's raining. Yeah, as it's raining and blizzarding. Like, you should have been able to get one of these coming. There's a hurricane and a tornado making a baby right over the news station. He's like, head to the beaches, folks. (laughs) It says, uh, here are some would-you-rathers, a lot of them. Feel free to skip any you don't like, but I hope some of these are good and you guys get a nice laugh. Thanks for the show. It's hilarious. Love you guys. Bye. All right. So yeah, he didn't. Aww, he wasn't. He wasn't lying. There are a literal fuck ton, uh, but I think we can we can handle them all. I did proofread them and they're all disgusting. So for starters, okay, that's what I like to hear. Would you rather have a head the size of a tennis ball or the size of a big pumpkin? My head's already the size of a big pumpkin, so I'll take that. I also feel that mine is the size of a big pumpkin, so I'll also be taking that. Um, but also, I mean, which one's going to look crazier? A slightly bigger head or a tennis ball of a head? Tennis ball. Are you kidding me? On We're both over six feet tall. That's going to look nuts. That's what I mean. You can't go to a store without causing a riot. and Without people just looking at you and thinking you're a fucking monster in front of pitchfork and torch you to death. Yeah, tennis ball head, people will definitely run away from you screaming. Like, they won't even try Oh, yeah, no, you're not... You... That's There's no crazy. good angle you can take for a Tinder profile picture with a tennis ball head. No, it's definitely got to be a low angle. You know, like a 45 oh, Can you imagine how man. shitty and... How do you wear a collared shirt? You have to know this, the seamstress of the year. Wow. That... You hate to know that guy. A pumpkin head, people would just whisper about it. You'd look like uh, yeah, the kid from Mass. Like, uh, uh, or the thing from Silent Hill. 
Yeah. Or the uh, the kid from the uh, classic chipmunks trick or treason that we we bring up frequently. Yeah, frequently, even not around Halloween. Yeah, I thought about watching it recently just to check in on it, you know, make sure everything's I okay. also thought about watching it recently. I wonder when it was. I wonder if we were doing it at the same time. We had to have been. This quarantine's taken its toll on us. We're thinking about watching mm-hmm. the Chipmunks uh, Halloween special. If you knew what I've been watching on YouTube, bro. Oh, I've also been watching some things. Next up, mm-hmm. would you rather have eyes the size of a baseball or eyes the size of a pea? baseball i feel like i could see so much <laughs> valid point i didn't take that into consideration i, I feel like i could see everything i say i I say p um because again it doesn't look as crazy unless i still have the pumpkin head then pop some baseballs in my face pumpkin and, head and p eyes yeah pumpkin head p eyes is a little too crazy but pumpkin head baseball eyes is probably pretty like well Pumpkin head baseball eyes. This is where you're starting to look like you were deprived of oxygen in the womb. Like you're just starting to look fucking crazy. But I think on my regular old stupid face, I would say that peas make more sense. I'd look like Mr. Magoo, probably. (laughs) Aw, that'd be so endearing. You just squint at me from across the table. Yeah. And then I'd wear big, uh, like bubbles, uh, glasses to make up glasses to accentuate the eyeballs. Yeah. You can always bring them bigger. You just can't make your baseball eyes look smaller. Especially because if you actually, I keep picturing a baseball and a pea, but if you think about an eyeball the size of a baseball in your face, it's fucking, again, people are screaming and pointing. Yeah, but think about how much you can see. (laughs) Yeah, you can see all of the people rushing to kill you. Yeah, you can see everything. I feel like you wouldn't even need glasses. I feel like you could, like, stand on a mountain and see, like, like, the, the wings on a fly three miles down in a village, you know? Yeah, but then what happens when you put binoculars to your baseball eyes? You see too much, and you have to go back, unless forbidden knowledge drive you insane. <laughs> you see through things. You see through time, and you have to quit doing that, because it's going to fuck up your baseball eyeballs. That makes a lot of sense, actually. All right, next. Would you rather be in the a real version of The Walking Dead or Jurassic Park? Uh, Jurassic Park. Same, because dinosaurs. Because dinosaurs, and it only seems to affect people who are on the island. (laughs) Yes, very specific. So I think I'm okay until it does spill out into the real world, like the recent one suggests. And then I'm like, cool, fucking dinosaurs everywhere. What's the problem? Yeah, I mean, I definitely would rather see dinosaurs. 300 dogs was cool, but can you imagine 300 dinosaurs in my yard? Uh, It depends on which dinosaurs. Um, nice ones. Okay. Uh, next, would you rather be caught having sex in public by your parents or by a police officer? The police officer will not join in like those weird pornos. Your parents will? (laughs) Yes, it's very explicit here. Your parents will be joining in pretty quickly. Your dad's like, that's not how you do it. You're like, no, her mom is supposed to teach us. (laughs) It's all backwards. Now my dad's just jacking me so off. So wrong. That's not how you get a blowjob, son. It's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I would love to make this. No, no, no. You're receiving it all wrong. I would love to make this porn series with, like, actors who are consenting to everything. But could you imagine watching a porn and you're like, oh, shit, the cops show up. It's going to be one of those weird ones. Or or your dad, I mean, shows up and then he's like, son, son, you're mm. doing it all wrong. This is how you receive a blowjob and then he fucks his son's face fucks his son oh i thought you were gonna say fucks his son's girlfriend's face no that's what you would think but it's different but we're flipping it yeah yeah we're changing we're changing everything up and you've got your dick in your hand watching and you're like this is gonna be nice and then you're like oh my god that guy's sucking his dad's dick you're like oh my god and then he pops it out and he's like this tastes like shit (laughs) jesus you've taken it too far believe it or not Oh, I took it too far. Even over the phone, I can still take it too far. Yeah, I'm proud of you. Never change. Um, I think Never I'd rather, rather have the police officer catch me. Yeah. I mean, at, at best, he's just going to give me a ticket or a fine. Yeah, I've kind of been in this situation before, but I definitely don't want my parents, especially if it's modern day, like right now. 
my estranged oh my God, parents yeah. catch me having sex. Yeah, my estranged my estranged father catches me having sex. And he's like, let me show you how to receive a blowjob, son. I'm like, no. <laughs> and then I suck his dick in front of you. Oh, God. You're just there, too, for some reason? Yeah, of course. I, me and your dad, he, he, uh, he keeps his finger in my back pocket and I keep mine in his, you know? Mm, I don't like that. All right. Would you rather permanently smell like gasoline or nail polish? Gasoline. I love how gasoline smells. I also love how gasoline smells. Where can I sign up it's for nice. this? It's nice. Nail polish. Where can we huff gas? Nail polish I suppose fucking we could sucks. Just... It's awful. I mean, I imagine we could just get a can of gas and dab a little behind our ears and on our wrists, and that should be sufficient. No, I want to be submerged constantly. Can you imagine want... if we just dabbed some gasoline on, like, cologne, and then got into a hot car to drive to a concert oh with the God. other dads, and they're like, it smells like gas in here. We're like, does it? I want to be constantly covered, and every cigarette I smoke is a real gamble. It's a real hazard. Yeah, I'm like, it makes them more exciting, you know what I mean? Get the lighter out of your gasoline-soaked pants pockets and light it with your gasoline-soaked hands. Yeah, even the lighter is dripping gas. People are like, that's not a good eye. That's not a whoosh. Yeah. Oh, my God. This guy's the coolest guy I've ever met. This guy's sick. All right, next. Would you rather be permanently thirsty or permanently nauseous? I'm permanently thirsty anyway, so I'll just take it. I feel like I'm also pretty thirsty, and I definitely don't want to be permanently nauseous. That sounds no. Like oh my god, I'm useless when I'm nauseous. I got fucking, I guess, a migraine yesterday, but like my vision started. I also had a bad headache yesterday. God damn it! Don't give me these because I did not enjoy it. Because like my vision started to go away, and then I got really in, yeah. I got in the shower and my fingertips were numb, and I was like, "Am I having a stroke?" And then... Am I dying? Then my head started hurting, and then it, like, progressively hurt, and then I felt like I was going to puke for, like, four hours. And I was like, this fucking sucks. Mm. So, yeah, I'd rather be thirsty. Yeah. Next, would you rather have to abstain from alcohol or from caffeine for the rest of your life? Caffeine. I'll be fine. This is a real fuck you, Lemmy. Jeez. Um... I'm going to have to say... Yeah, I mean, it sucks, but I ain't giving up drinking. Yeah, I'm I'm in the same boat, but I will miss my coffee tremendously. Oh, yeah. I'll miss coffee, and I'll miss I'll miss my energy drinks, but damn. I don't giving know... Giving up alcohol, I can't do that. I don't know what I like more, beer or coffee. Wow. Yeah. I like the effects of beer more. Like I said before, I don't feel like I really get energy from coffee. I know that I do, but I don't get... As much energy from coffee as I get drunk from beers. I know. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Next, would you rather have all of your Google searches or all of your text messages be broadcasted to everyone on every social media platform? Google searches or text messages? Yes. Google searches. Oh, my God. (laughs) For sure. Google searches. Yeah, Jesus Christ, Google searches. No way, my tech. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. That's exactly what I thought. I was like, there's no way I every, can have these. So you, you want to talk about burning every bridge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have no idea the things I say in the comfort of a text message. Oh, my God. Yeah, things where I know I'm not being seen or heard and just read. It's like, oh, my God, I'll just tell you everything. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. That's a. I mean, my Google searches are hilarious, I think. Others would probably say concerning, but either yeah, or. Yeah, it's not like I'm searching for my foreign preferences on Google. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Like, yeah, it's it's uh, yeah, it's pretty. Mine would be very random. I compile a lot of the episode artwork and other other artistic things that I do. So it'd be like just short little confusing bursts. But yeah. mine would probably be a lot, a lot of recipes and a lot of song lyrics to where I can't remember the name of the song and I'm just punching in what I remember until I get it right. Oh yeah, I would have that too. I actually wonder what my recent Google searches are because they'd probably be funny. But yeah, it's definitely not like you know who I really hate. <laughs> like that's not what I'm. Yeah, it's not like it's not like I'm in Google like d- d- drama, drama, how to kill, you know? Like, it's not like there's anything like like how to kill your podcast host, buddy. Like, there's nothing, like, revealing or stupid in my Google search. 
Yeah, exactly. So we definitely how to delete uh how to delete what is it? Oh, how to de- how to delete Ashley Madison's credit card profile. <laughs> yeah, it's just that three hundred times. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know why no, he's just not delete. Getting... Like my... Delete Ashley Madison credit card now, just over and over and over. <laughs> I'm looking at mine right now, and it's Dr. Oz height, Dr. Oz, don't hug me, I'm scared, water trough, water trough, 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 lasagna noodles, lasagna <laughs> noodles transparent, Joe Exotic mugshot, Tiger King, Scooby-Doo transparent, you know, just regular shit. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Most recent searches. Uh, Tory Lane, Stupid Again, Genius. Monday Morning, Willem Dafoe, The Lighthouse. Umar Jackson, Donations, Gifts. Blue Cheese. Prince of Egypt, Deliver Him. Trolls, Where to Watch. Meatloaf with TVP. Iranian Noodle Dish with Rose Water. Don, Don Lubby, Wikipedia. Puddle of Mud Lyrics and Taco John's Menu. <laughs> yeah, this is this is actually incredible. I love to compile this. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would love to see my lifetime of this shit. I would love to see the last six months of this shit. If oh, be honest. Yeah, my, yeah. Some more of mine. Rights of springs. Rights of spring for want of lyrics. Faces of death. Full movie. Mother's head in fridge. <laughs> Sling blade. The movie. <laughs> As opposed to what the Navalia. <laughs> The play, idiot. <laughs> Chief Keef shirt. <laughs> yeah, this is actually, this is telling me a lot about myself. Yeah, I know, right? Like, I'm starting to learn quite a bit. Oh, God. Yeah, so that that one's real simple. Not only are the, the text messages the worst idea, but the Google searches, everyone finds funny. It might be the best idea. Yeah, we're just gonna yeah we're gonna compile our burps and Google searches and release it in a fun little bonus. Oh man, that is how you get ratings. All right, next. Would you rather buy everyone inside your favorite bar a round of shots on their busiest day, or get kicked out and banned from the place forever? Oh, I'd rather buy the shots. For sure. Get kicked out forever. Can you imagine getting? Richard oh god no yeah yeah picture it you're never allowed back you have to stand outside while you watch the three of us have a hell of a good time in there yeah you keep getting free beers oh free beers and drink and tickets and they're like we love these guys ah fuck I yeah I hate that I'll buy several rounds wait of get them the, the one they're like wait get them the good blowjob girls from the back yeah, and it's that one uh, homeless lady. Oh, man, but she gives the best slot. Yeah, I was going to say, she's got some a specific set of skills. It's like a blowjob that literally drains your balls out like a silly straw, and you're like, jeez. Yeah, and I'm just watching from the window, and it's cold outside, of course. You're watching my life force get drained out of my dick, and you're just like, God, that looks fun. <laughs> yeah. All right, next. Would you rather have to stand up in the middle of every wedding ceremony you attend and scream, it should have been me, or take the microphone during somebody's reception speech and cry about how alone you are? Pretend you go to one wedding a year, even if you don't actually. Uh... (laughs) Man, I'll do the crying in front of people. That sounds like I could have more fun with that. Ah, uh, I hate that one. I think I'll scream it should have been me because I think occasionally I get that, but then you have to like, oh man! But then like you're on the wedding videotape, having to uh, having to explain yourself and everything like that. I feel like that's worse than me just crying about how alone I am. Because then at the end, I can be like, psych, I got nothing but bitches, and then like walk away. No, I don't think you get to do the psych. I think you have to go through with that. Oh well, what if, regardless, I still feel like it'd be easier for me to just cry about how lonely I am than to I mean... say it should have been me. Yeah, you won't. What if have I to... hate her? What if I'm there for the guy? What if I'm at the wedding for the guy and I think his wife is like an ugly fat pig and I hate her and she's been cheating on him and I know about it and I'm like, it should have been me. I don't want that. You, but you could say it for the man. Oh, like like he should have been with me. 
Yeah. Because I would have treated him better than you would have. It doesn't say it has to be exclusive to one person or the other. I think eventually also it would be funny if you go to like, I don't know, your aunt's like second marriage and she's 53 and you're like, it should have been me. And everyone's like, what the fuck? Everyone's just like, ha ha ha, classic drama. Yeah, exactly. So we're split up on that one. Next, would you rather throw up in the middle of the dance floor or inside of your Uber? Uh, Uber is a two hundred dollar charge if you throw up in it, so I'm taking the dance yeah, floor. Yeah, the club they'll just the club they'll just kick you out, and I'll come back in a couple of weeks when they forget who I am. Yeah, I also think it would be hilarious to throw up in the middle of the dance floor. Can you imagine throwing up in the middle of the boathouse show? Oh God, I would do like a I would like do like a break dance maneuver, so really clear some space. Mm-hmm. Some people will be like, Oh my God, he's about to he's about to get it, and then I just barf all over the floor. <laughs> And, and then some guys even... like, hey, you chased all the pussy out of here. <laughs> yeah, real nice. And you probably don't even get... Real nice. You probably don't even get kicked out for barfing there. No, I think you actually get another drink to wash your mouth out if you barf. Yeah, there. they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. This guy's got to be sobered up after all that vomit. Here, have some handfuls <laughs> of cake and another PBR. Whoa, this guy has to be entirely sober after puking all that out. Let's get you a white claw there, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Um, next, you can only hear one song for the rest of your life, Bohemian Rhapsody or Ring of Fire. That wasn't a would you rather, by the way. (laughs) Yeah, that was just kind of a... This is just a statement. (laughs) You can only hear one song for the rest of your life. That's how he he fucking gets us, is he's got to make us read it like perfectly like that without a question. And now we do this and it curses us. Oh, and so every song. Oh man, that would. Suck. That's why he did so many because he's like, this. he's like, there's if there's like twenty would you rather's, they won't notice the one that I don't say would you rather in. But then didn't you proofread these? Yeah, but I'm even pointing it out now. This is a classic moment in the movie when we acknowledge that we can prevent the big catastrophic thing, but then we're like, it probably oh, won't yeah. happen, and then we do it because we're stupid. That just sounds like our life anyway. Yeah, it is. And that's why the movie is coming soon to theaters when you can go to theaters All again. All seven volumes. Yes. This is com- theaters come and back. Don't worry. This is completely different from the asshole movie. No, those, this is an entirely separate thing. Yeah, those, there, are, those are in post right now. There will be a hard crossover in the future, but unrelated. An unrelated, unrelated. crossover. <laughs> It's what it's what everyone's been begging for. Of course, uh, I think I'm gonna. I don't know. I fucking hate this, but I feel like I want to say Ring of Fire, but I think that probably gets older faster than Bohemian Rhapsody. I feel, yeah, I feel like that's gonna get so old. But Bohemian Rhapsody is gonna get really bad, really fast. Bohemian Rhapsody is already kind of irritating to me because you hear it so much. But it's usually right. like you, you're drunk enough to where it's fun for one round to sing with your friends. But like, right, and then like, if you hear it, if I heard it again for a second time in an evening, I'd be like, "Really, this again?" Oh yeah, and or just being alone, like you can't listen to Bohemian oh. Rhapsody alone. It's weird. No, and That's you're odd. doing all the parts yourself. Oh, like Ring of Fire, you can listen to alone, but eventually you're gonna be like, "Mom, mom, 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 mom," and I fell in. Yeah, it. Yeah, it did. Uh, yeah, both of these suck, but I think I'm still going to have to go Ring of Fire. God, that would be uh, yeah, just a miserable same. existence. It's, 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 but it is what it is. I would kill myself in, in moments away. <laughs> moments away from suiciding myself to Ring of Fire mid-blowjob. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, next, would you rather shit your pants in public once a year for the rest of your life or shit yourself in private every day for the rest of your life? I feel like we've been asked this. I also feel like we've been asked this. And the answer is one public one a year. Yeah, one public one because you get to do something funny with it. Yeah, and you don't want to shit your pants every day. Like a lot of things no. are better than shitting your own pants every single day. Yeah, besides the one public one, you could make that funny because it happens and you're like, guys, it happened. Yeah, I'm going to do this. It's like a it's like a holiday. <laughs> guys, it's coming. Oh my God! Is it Saint Shitten's Pants Day already? 
Next, would you rather swallow cum that tastes like piss or have your partner actually piss on you? I think this one. Where is... are they pissing on me? I don't know. Just all over, wherever it lands. Okay. I feel like this one's pretty simple. I'd rather have the person pee on me than swallow cum that tastes like piss. Yeah, the second he said swallow cum, I was like, no thanks. I don't even understand. Yeah, I don't even understand where this one comes from. Like, just because the cum doesn't no taste like intended. cum. Like, the cum doesn't taste like cum, so I'm like, perfect. My only big quarrels with swallowing cum was the taste of cum. It's going to taste like cum. I think my biggest problem would be a consistency issue. It's got to be real Yeah, I slimy. feel like just, just, look, just looking at cum, I feel like it'd be a consistency issue to swallow. Yeah, it feels so slimy and unpleasant. I'd imagine. Ugh. Hypothetically. I can't imagine eating it is any good. <laughs> I, yeah, I love the term eating it because I picture you with a fork and a knife and a napkin tucked into your collar. Just slurping it up. Oh, no, cutting it and carefully getting a little on a fork. and <laughs> Seasoning it with a little bit of olive oil and lemon and salt before I eat it. Lowry salt. No, you got to get the uh, uh, Tony Shashair's ah, Cajun yes. seasoning. Something to spice up the night. Tony Shashair's Cajun butter injection for the comms. Oh, that just makes it stronger and slimier. Oh, somehow more delicious, though. Like you're eating handfuls of it. You're like, oh, God. Well, I feel like adding butter to cum would make it taste better. Call me crazy. I mean, I saw a thing on Twitter Call the other day crazy. that said, like, there's no... There was like no. It said there's no food that you can't add like chocolate or something else to to like make it better. So like if you had like the most delicious chocolate in the world, but you bit into it and there was a cu- gummy cum center, would it be oh, good? It's like a caramel with cum instead of caramel. A caramel. Picture a Twix, but a, a camello, if you will. Picture a Twix <laughs> with cum instead of caramel. Ah. I'd be pretty bummed. I gotta be honest with you. I'd be pretty bummed, he says. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, that would just ruin my afternoon until I forgot about it somehow. Like, that would just inconvenience me, boy. Howdy. Oh, pussy feathers. I bit into this Twix and it was full of gum. Well, what, what's funny to me is I finally obtained my cookies and cream Twix. You know, this has been a personal journey for over a month at this point. And when, I, a month. and when I finally got it, I bit into it, and it was underwhelming. And I was pretty bummed because mm, I was like, ah, yeah. I had high hopes for this. And maybe in my search for it, I had hyped it up too much in my mind for it to be as good as I really wanted it to be. But if it had been mm-hmm. full of cum, it would have sucked a lot more. <laughs> it would have been I mean? a real bummer, man. Yeah. Um. All right, next. Would you rather fuck your best friend's father or your father's best friend? I already do one of these. Mm, uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's rough because I've seen my dad's best friend and he is rough looking, but I've also seen your dad and he is rough looking. <laughs> yeah, my dad's best friend is a real dork. I think you've technically seen him too. I have technically seen him. Yeah, would you want to fuck him? <laughs> uh, more than my dad's best friend, if you can believe it or not. I have to assume your dad hangs out with some sketchy characters. My dad hangs out with a real motley crew of folks, and we're not talking good like the band. Right. <laughs> I, we're talking about like a motley crew cover band. Yeah, we're talking like a C-grade motley crew cover band. Yeah, they had to pick one of the names of like a lesser known song because all the good cover bands got like the classics. They all they all look like Fat Vince Neil. Yeah, so you mean regular Vince Neil? Yeah, just good old Vince Neil. Like, is this four normal Vince Neils? Is this four clones of Vince Neil? He is one of the people they Playing say were girls, cloned. Girls, girls, out of breath. Yeah, he only gets two out of the three girls. It's not yeah, bad. Girls. <sighs> No, we seen it. I seen him whenever it was, 2005, probably, on a reunion or farewell tour. I can't keep them straight. And he literally mm-hmm. would go, girls, girls, <laughs> as he jogged around the stage. And it's like, maybe stop fucking jogging around the stage if you can't keep up with the breaths, baby. That poor fat man. Yeah, he's been through some shit. So who are you fucking, my <laughs> dad or your dad's friend? 
Uh, I guess I'm, uh, I guess, uh, I'm fucking my dad's friend. <laughs> oh. I don't want to fuck your dad, man. I appreciate it. I'll be fucking your dad as tradition has shown. As, as tradition dictates. Yeah. All right. Next, would you rather cut off one of your fingers or pay $5,000 of your own money to the person you hate the most to go on a spa vacation? In parentheses, your dad's, I would guess, LOL. The finger gets no. That's crazy. The, the finger gets chosen randomly for you, but it won't be your thumbs. Don't worry. Then does this change at all if you do get to choose the finger? Did you follow that one? Well, it was the, confusing. Yeah, but the person I hate most in the world is me, so I get to pay myself five thousand dollars to go on a vacation. Big loophole, baby. Hell yeah. I also hate you, so consider it a ten thousand dollar vacation. <laughs> Hey, look at that. See, we figured out, Leonard, how to... We figured it out. I get to go on a nice vacation, finally. Thanks, Drama. You're the best. Yeah, anything for you, you piece of garbage shit. Aw. Next, would you... He doesn't mean it, folks. He loves me. Next, would you rather have someone accidentally bite down on your dick or your balls? Dick. Yeah, I've had my dick cut with braces, and I feel like that counts, so I'll take that. Well, yeah, that was just weird because there were braces that had been removed from teeth. So what were you yeah. doing with the braces? I told you once and I'll tell you till I die. None of your goddamn business. Fair enough. Um, yeah, I don't want my balls to be bit at all. Yeah, that sounds scary. Because it's like, what if they, because it's like, are they just biting the sack or are they biting the testicle itself? I mean, I don't know. It's it's a dangerous game. Also, how is this accidental? <laughs> yeah. Lockjaw? Is that an understanding? I mean, you, keep I feel like that needs to be established before you let a girl blow you. If she has, she, she needs to tell you if she has lockjaw. Well, she as, she shouldn't have been able to go to school if she has lockjaw. So it's a pretty good. She should. Bet. She shouldn't have been allowed to. Oh my god! I just. Oh god. <laughs> lockjaw. I can't even imagine. Cock lockjaw. Are you no? Just getting your getting your dick. Is it a bit of your dick getting bit off? I think this is just a bite down for the question. Mm. But if she has lockjaw, she's yeah gonna bite your cock off. It's a given. And a little bit of teeth doesn't feel bad. Yeah, everybody says that, but I don't know how much I agree. Mm, I like a. I, it, it's got to be the right amount of teeth. A light scraping, yeah. Yeah, not like a scrape like SpongeBob with the fucking chocolate bar. Yeah, I mean it's subjective. Um, next, would you rather be turned on every single time you see a man wearing a fedora or every single time you see a man wearing Crocs? Why does it got to be a man? <laughs> he knows what we want. I'd say Crocs. And also, it's not bad that I just get turned on unless I just have like a huge boner and I'm right next to the man. Yeah, I'll say Crocs. Yeah, no one wants to be turned on by a man in the fedora. No, <laughs> but everybody wants to get turned on by a man in some Crocs. I mean, you have to, especially bare feet. Thinking about buying some Crocs. I read that. Mm, I never gonna happen. I've I've never like put them on. I don't understand the appeal. I guess they're very they're ugly, but they're very comfortable. Yeah, if they're comfortable, I would fuck around and get some. I've just never tried them on, and yeah, so I don't know. I don't judge anyone. When I get my big size 14 camo Crocs, you can try them on. Oh yeah, I forgot how large yours will have to be. They have to make those in a different yeah. factory. Yeah, they have to they have to ship out for him. Yeah. Uh, next, would you rather have sex with Megan Fox with a penis or Tom Hiddleston with a vagina? I don't know who that man is. Yeah, I'll take Megan Fox because I still get to look at the rest of it. I was also gonna take Megan Fox because she was like one of my like big crushes when I was younger. Oh hell yeah! When Jennifer's body came out. <laughs> Yeah, even like before that a little bit. She had yeah, she was mm -hmm. like I was big into her. I'm googling this Tom Hiddleston man and he looks hideous. So, yeah, I'm for sure going to suck Megan Fox's dick. Yeah, I still got to look at a man with a vagina. Yeah, and he's not even an attractive man. All right. Yeah, just cuz it feels good doesn't mean I'm having a good time. <laughs> Would you rather get a call from someone you slept with saying she has HIV or that she's pregnant? Don't think too much about time frames. Whatever you choose, you either have the STD or it's your kid. Uh, 
pregnant because then I could be like flush it out. You can't flush out HIV. Yeah, you could just never talk to her again, and the kid is yeah. whatever. You can't. You could just disappear. Not talk to HIV. D- deny the child. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I plan on doing anyway. HIV. Also, yeah, I don't know if I would say you either have the STD or it's your kids. I feel like HIV, while it is an STD, is its own STD. Like, you don't go like, ah, it's right, equal yeah. to me as gonorrhea. It's fucking HIV. It's big, big time, baby. <laughs> big, big old, big old viruses, baby. All right, would you rather lose your sex organs forever or gain 200 pounds for the rest of your life? Oh, fuck. Yeah, this is a big doozy. Because I feel like if I gain 200 pounds, I'm kind of losing my sex organs. Right, I yeah. I also love so that he said way, sex, organs sex organs instead of our dicks and balls. Yeah, I like how it's not like implied that maybe one of us has vaginas or both of us has vaginas. <laughs> yeah, one of us has vaginas. I am just <laughs> slittered <laughs> with vaginas, vaginas under my underwear. It's oh, fun. you beautiful man. Why haven't you ever taken your underwear off around me? Because you would not be able to handle it. No, I would freak out and fuck all of them. Um, I feel like I'd rather gain the 200 pounds because then I at least get to eat and do whatever the fuck I want. I was going to say, yeah, I've, I mean, I've pretty much lost almost 200 pounds altogether at one point. So I'll just go ahead and gain it back. I know what it's like. I can deal with it. Yeah. Imagine what I would look like 200 pounds heavier. Oh, you'd be so chubby and cute. It'd be funny. Yeah. I'd love feeding you a little bit of pretzel. It'd Could probably... I be your feeder? Uh, yeah, I, my goal is to become the largest human being in the world. Thank God. We're going to have, how many little feasters, how many bags of crazy bread do I get to feed you? Um, like a day or. Yeah, let's go with a day. I could eat, I could currently eat three to four bags. So I'd assume if I was 200 pounds heavier, let's just do some simple math. Uh, 23 bags of crazy bread a day. Wow. Fast math. All right, and then... Fast math. Finally, last one. Would you rather <clears throat> peel all your nails out of your fingers or pull all the teeth out of your mouth? Oh. I fucking hate this one. I hate this one. This is bullshit. I think you gotta go nails because they'll grow back. My teeth, I'm Yeah, just those, the teeth forever. won't. Can you imagine me with dentures? Yes, I can. <laughs> but they're terrifying. too they're too white and oversized. Oh yeah. They definitely don't sound right in my mouth. No, you look like Gary Busey on a bender. Oh shit. <laughs> don't I always anyway? Yeah, once you've been drinking and screaming. You're unpredictable like a Busey. <laughs> yeah, I got a little bit of that Busey blood in me. You should. I'm I'm gonna go with nails. I'll take nails. Yeah, you have to because they'll grow back. It's just it might be my Fuck. like I physically feel like I would prefer to rip a tooth out than a nail, honestly. But mm, mm, they're both bad. They're both bad. But some of yeah, some of these like when you first read them, you're like, oh, that fucking sucks. But then if you like logically think about it, like the fact that teeth cost a lot of money and nails grow bad, mm-hmm. it obviously has to be nails. Obviously, idiot. It's economics. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can't afford new teeth, and I can't eat without teeth. Not successfully. Not hard things like crackers. You just swallow things. Yeah, I go back to swallowing things, and you know what? My dad's not there to hook my throat. 